Hello, Captains, and welcome to my playthrough in Star Trek Online of a Riemann character. We're not going to dawdle. Let's get on with the next mission. In the last mission, we did Smash and Grab, where we thought we had heard about Tovin's sister from Charva, but nope. No luck there. So now let's go to the next mission, and we are actually at the end of Allies with Tradecraft today. You've been tricked for the last time. Now it's time to get the upper hand. If you want proof, Centurion, then I'll provide it. I'm transmitting several classified Tal Shiar, Tal Shiar files to your ship now. Read through them, analyze them yourself, and then you'll see the truth. Datan and his kind are terrorists and a threat to the survival of the Romulan people. This is Charva talking. After that, I hope you'll reconsider your options. The Tal Shiar are trying to help the Romulan people, and you should be fighting for us. We've been fighting for you all this time. Um, Paratrinic shields, Harpang torpedoes, field stabilizing singularity core. So some very interesting rewards for this mission. We actually need to start this off by going to our ship's ready room and accessing library files. So we're going to go up to the starship bridge for the first time here and do a thing. This is our bridge. We've never seen it before. We've never been here before yet in this playthrough. But this is just the standard Romulan bridge that we have with our ship. Nothing special here. We need to access library files, which is, I guess, in my ready room. Makes sense. Wherever that may be, that's a turbo lift. Maybe this door? Yes, here we go. So, that's account bank. Here's library files. We need to decipher these Tal Shiar files. All right. Three files uploaded. We got Chaltok intelligence file, Viranat intelligence file, and Kinkathan's, uh, Kinkathan, Kin, whatever, intelligence file. Let's open this one. The Don has a personal relationship with Lortrix, the leader of a colony in the Chaltok system. They work together on a Riemann mining colony. The weapons present at the colony were the property of the terrorist militia helping Datan and his followers break away from the legitimate government of the Roman Star Empire. These weapons were stored by Lortrix at Datan's personal request. Uh, none of this is true, actually. <laughs> On Starbreak, blah blah blah, Datan contacted Starfleet Intelligence. These communications dealt with targeting Robulan Star Empire and Federation colonies for terrorist acts. Nope, check statements against ship's library. This is not good, so let's see. Natan, let's see, in the Shaltok system, they work together on a Riemann mining colony. They examine work together discrepancy. There is no record of Datan and Lortrix having worked together at the Riemann colony. Um, let's check the roster of workers. So this just gives information about Lortrix and then no nothing on Datan. Cooperative management records, no, no, nothing exists there. Visitor logs, Lortrix and Deton. Change wording of the original Tosciar file to visited. No, not visited. It's uh, stationed. Nope, not stationed. <laughs> I guess if I read this, I could actually figure this out. It's negotiated a settlement. That's what it is. Okay. And then terrorist acts. No. Okay. Um, I'm just going to guess. On these, you really don't even have to get it right the first time, as you see. If you just keep clicking it. You'll find the answer. I could take the time to read it, but I don't want to. I don't want to read things right now. <laughs> Return to file selection. So, I mean, if you actually read it, then what you'd be able to do is figure out what the real answers are and then fix the corrected statements. So that takes care of the Chaltok one. We need to veer in that one now. And there's discrepancies here that we're going to find. Tatan smuggled a large number of crates into Verinat, 
but routing them through unmonitored systems. The crates were determined to be carrying weapons meant to be used by the inhabitants of Virinat. The dense terrorist organization, the Roman Republic, assisted with the construction of Virinat Colony. During construction, this organization concealed hidden compartments and rooms into many of the colony's structures to facilitate smuggling in illegal weapon cells. Inside the repair facility, there was machinery linked to biological weapons manufacturing. The Taun and the Roman Republic have also allocated significant resources to accumulate intelligence on the Federation. Most of this information is related to Federation colony locations and defenses. So a lot in there is wrong, obviously. The crates were determined to be carrying weapons. No. The crates were probably... We're not even going to read this. Okay, I guess we have to read all these. So you have to go through these anyway to get all the information. The crates were carrying... Ship parts? Yes. I got that one because I remember uh, earlier in the story that uh, they were doing a lot of ship repairs on Virinat. Uh, a lot of the people were coming in to the colony for ship repairs, so ship parts made a lot of sense there. That's what they were actually for. And then most of the information is related to Federation colony locations. See, most of this is no. Um, check intercept logs, financial. Most of it was for... I think it was finances. No, it wasn't finances. Okay, I was wrong. What's my next option? What would I think here? Uh, political climate? Yeah, political climate. Okay. So for uh, most of this information is related for, to Federation political climate. So a lot of this stuff you can also pick up as you play through the game. You know, uh, this storyline. This is a really cool part of the game, actually. If you actually read through all of this, you would start figuring out, hey, I learned about this earlier in an episode I played. So it all starts to connect together right here, the storyline. And I like that. That's pretty cool. All right. Now we've got this file. Here's the last one. The Tal Shiar has stopped a raid against one of the facilities in the Feban system. The prisoners captured will be transferred to the Kinkuthasa system penal colony. Several members of the raiding party remain unidentified or dead and in state when identification is possible. However, one of the prisoners captured in the raid has been identified as Rina Kev, a known member of Datan's terrorist organization. No, the prisoners captured during the raid against the Tal Shiar facility in the Feban system have been interrogated. Preliminary results of the questioning have yielded credible information connecting them with a plot to assassinate the Empress. No. A lot there is wrong. Okay, first of all, the prisoner's capture will be transferred to... That's the wrong system anyway. Then we transfer to the... I bet it's Installation 18. Ah, yes, Installation 18. I know that because of a future storyline. <laughs> and then... To start a revolution... Um... I actually don't know the answer to this one, so we'll just see. Oh, it's not that one. It's not that. So it must be this one. No, not that one. What did I miss? Steel supplies? That's it. Captain, we're getting two different stories here. One from Charva and one from these documents. Analysis of the files shows that either Charva is trying deliberately to mislead us, or that she's being misled herself. Since she seems to firmly believe what she's telling us, I'm not completely comfortable disregarding her information out of hand. I recommend that we speak to Commander Tal Mera on Drozana Station. She has contacts in the intelligence community that we don't. She should be able to either confirm or deny our findings. Okay, we need to consult Commander Tal Mera on Drozana. So we are going to leave the ship interior and we're going to travel to Drozana. Let's beam up. Warp out. And we're going to head to Drozana, which is all the way at the bottom of the map. So another long journey today Drozana way down there this is definitely going to take a while as well I could fill this space of time that it will take to get from here to there with a bunch of nonsensical talking 
or I can pause the video <laughs> and wait till we get there and then resume, which I'll do because I got nothing to say really. Um, we're just moving on with the storyline and there's really nothing new to talk about. So I'll pause the video and when we get to Drozana, I will resume. Welcome back everybody. We are now approaching the Drozana station. Put your seat backs into an upright position and let's depart. All right, we need to find Commander Talmera under Ozana Station's observation deck. Of course, I went the long way around because why not? <laughs> Ah, uh, here we go. Was there something you needed? Can I get your opinion on some Tal Shiar files? Tal Shiar files? I'm sure there's a good story behind how you came into possession of these. Let's see what you have. Here are the files. What do you think? What sort of information do you need, Centurion? Personally, I'd regard anything given to you by a Tal Shiar operative with suspicion. They are masters of misinformation and misdirection. I need to fact check these documents. Some of the information in them doesn't seem to line up. We can do that. Show me what you have and what parts of them are troubling you. Share Chaltok Intelligence file. I've read some interesting works of fiction, but nothing that compares to this. Datan and Lorchik's working together on a Riemann mining colony? I don't think so. Can you see Datan in a Dilithium mine and Lorchik's restoring weapons for Datan? Why? There, there have to be better places we can stash supplies than in an enemy colony. And this section about the Taun working with Starfleet to target colonies for terrorist attacks is ridiculous. Neither the Taun or the Federation would do such a thing. I'm detecting that sections of the files have been altered. That's probably why it reads like a bad spy story. It didn't make much sense to me either. According to my records, the Taun was in contact with the Starfleet, but he was talking to them about which colonies needed agricultural aid. And there were weapons on Chaltok, as you well know, but not only were they making weapons for the Herogen, they were targeting Romulan militia targets, including the Flotilla. Now, I didn't realize that Lorchix and Natan knew each other, but apparently they do. They interacted once during negotiations during a worker strike at a Riemann mining facility. It's funny how people from such different worlds and outlooks can interact. Can you cross-reference this file with our intelligence data to gain some context? Tatan was talking to the Federation about colonies near our borders, but it wasn't to target them for attack. It was to discern which ones had the greatest need for agri uh, agricultural assistance. A lot of the newer colonies were having a rough time trying to establish themselves. Tatan believes that the more um, prosperous colonies have a responsibility to help support others. That's why he was talking to the Federation. He was asking if they'd be willing to assist as well. Unfortunately, once the rumors of terrorist attacks entered the mix, the Federation Council broke off the, the talks. And I'm not surprised that Lortrix was aiming weapons at our targets, although I don't think he was going to do the request at the of the Herogen. The Tal Shiar has a way of getting into everything, and we know that they were monitoring that colony. The Tal Shiar operative could have manipulated Lortrix into aiming some of the weapons at Romulan Republic targets. If they were fired, then we'd lose big and a, and a neutral colony would be blamed for the attack. Also, I think it was a coincidence that the Tan and Lortrix were acquainted. Lortrix once worked for the Riemann Mining co co Cooperative, but he wasn't exactly a model employee. In fact, he was one of the leaders of a strike that turned violent. The Remans brought in a group of negotiators to help end the crisis. Tatan was one of the people they invited. He helped negotiate a settlement, and Lortrix was one of the representatives of the workers during those negotiations. I doubt that they've ever spoken to one another again once the strike ended. All right, what do you make of these changes? I think that the Tal Shiar are conducting quite an effective smear campaign against Tatan and our movement. It's our responsibility to see through their deceptions. Can I show you another file? All right, let's show him the Virenet, or show her the Virenet. This could be your day. I'm detecting several abnormalities in this file. It looks like portions of it have been altered. We should corroborate these reports in order to determine which facts are actually true and which are Talshar fabrications. I don't know what to believe. Here's what we know and we can confirm from our files. Tatan did, sm did smuggle crates to Virenet before the attack of on your colony, but they were carrying ship parts, not weapons, and he did more to help the colony without drawing excess attention. 
It was our group that helped your people get the water reclamation equipment they needed to support a healthy population. And yes, we spent a great deal of time and money gathering information about both the Federation and the Klingon Empire. But we're not planning an attack, why would we? Instead, we're gathering all the intel we can about the political climates of both factions. Alright, cross-reference for more info? The Tan has been working with colony leaders for years, including the Maori and others at Virnat. However, since the Empress and the Tashi are often retali retaliate against people who can, uh, are friendly to our movement, in the past we tried to keep these contacts as quiet as possible. Your colony had some talented engineers who were willing to help flotilla ships. The Tan provides crates full of ship parts smuggled from other friendly settlements. Your engineers rep repaired ally ships who needed help. Great. But the Tan is a man of peace. I can't ever see him wanting to smuggle weapons, especially not to a civilian site. Of course, because the people of Irenhat risk their safety to help our ships, Tatan helped them in return. One of the ways the Tal Shiar keeps control over colony worlds is by denying or diverting needed supplies. Before the attack, Virenat's population had overgrown its water treatment capabilities. They tried to acquire another water filtration unit, but were blocked by lost shipments, denied paperwork, and other bureaucratic hassles. It could have meant disease and deprivation for your people, so the Maori reached out to Deton. He provided the water reclamation equipment very much needed, and even helped the colonists down. conceal it so you couldn't be dam so it couldn't be damaged in a conventional accident. And yes, we do spend a great deal of time and effort gathering intel on both Starfleet and the Klingon Empire, but we're not studying their defenses. We're learning about their political climates. Our relationships with the Klingons and Starfleet are still very fragile. They're being strengthened by people like you. But a shift in attitudes in the High Council or Federation Council could mean disaster for us. The more we know about what's happening, the better we can react to it. Alright? I'm not saying that Tatan is a complete innocent. None of us are. The political information could be used to sway decisions in our favor. The ship parts and water reclamation equipment were smuggled illegally. But you have to look at the intent behind Tatan's actions. He's trying to help people, not tear them down. Alright, well how about the Kinkutenza file? I didn't realize that the Tal Shiar had transferred prisoners to the Kinkutsa system penal colony. Probably because there isn't a penal colony in the Kinkutsa system. That's not the only discrepancy I'm detecting in this file. There's distinct signs of tampering. I need to figure out what they altered and why. Here's what I know. Most Tal Shiar prisoners fall off the grid completely. We don't know where they are taken and what's being done to them. And that troubles the Tan a great deal. We have, however, heard of a Tal Shiar facility called Installation 18 that appears to be a holding facility. Some prisoners would likely be taken there. As far as I know, your friend's sister has never been in the Feban system, much less been captured there. We did lose a militia ship there a few weeks ago, and one of my agents, Subcommander Avarin, is still in Tal Shiar custody. Avarin was trying to steal supplies from a Tal Shiar convoy when he was captured. It was risky, but they had critical supplies we couldn't get in any other way. We don't know what the Tal Shiar is doing with their prisoners, but a lot more people are missing than we can account for. We have, however, found several references to a place called Installation 18. We're still tracking down where this facility is and what they're doing there, but we know that prisoners are taken there for an unknown purpose. Rinikev hasn't shown up in any of our lists of the missing, but I have found references to someone with that name being a crew member on a cargo transport. As far as I know, the ship she was working on has never been to the Feban system. But if your friend can't find her, I'd be concerned. The Tal Shiar has a nasty habit of making people disappear. We did lose a, sh lose a ship in the Feban system recently, a small scout vessel. Its commander was one of my agents, and we have confirmed that Subcommander Avrin is being held in Tal Shiar custody. Subcommander Avern was there to do reconnaissance for me. Tal Shiar convoys passed through that region of space, and there was one convoy that had vital supplies we need. The, plot, the plan was long, a long shot at best, but Avern knew the risk he took the assignment. Now that Avern is in custody and the convoy has made it safely to the destination, all we can do is try to figure out how to soldier on without the components that, you were, that were in those ships. Did Tatan know about the plan to attack a Tal Shiar convoy? Yes. Does that make us criminals and terrorists? That's something you're going to have to decide for yourself. Hmm. Okay. Sure. What do you make of all this? We're fighting for our independence and the future of the Romulan race. We're short on supplies and allies and beset by enemies that see nothing wrong with murder, torture, and kidnapping. And they call us the terrorists. We've had to make some difficult decisions. Some of them have led us down roads that none of us wanted to take, but nothing we've done is anything as terrible as what the Tal Shiar is accusing Tatan of doing. There are no innocents in a war, Centurion, and that includes Tatan. At least his motivations are clear. I can't see what the Tal Shiar has to gain by framing him for these crimes. Captain Charvis convinced that these files are genuine. 
She wouldn't be pushing us this hard otherwise. We need to sit down and show her the discrepancies we've discovered, preferably in front of a tall Shi'ar computer, so we can open her eyes to the truth. If we contact her and say we're ready to join the tall Shi'ar, but we need to discuss these files first, maybe she'll take us somewhere where we can prove to her that she's been lied to. There's a subspace communications hub in the lounge on Drozana Station's observation level that we can use to contact Charva. How convenient. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of reading. I know you guys probably don't want to hear all that, but um, it is part of the story. I tried to get through it as fast as I could. It's all very interesting. The Tall Shah are the true defenders of the Romulan people. I wasn't expecting to hear from you so soon, Omega. Are you ready to join the Tall Shah? I'm ready to join. I take it that everything I'm provided checked out to your satisfa satisfaction? Mostly, but I want to go over the data you sent. I need assurances that it's genuine. That's a fair request. The Tal Shi'ar ma uh, maintains a clandestine network of satellites throughout the quadrant. There's a listening post that's part of this network in the Azha system. It's near your current position and off the trade routes, so we should be able to meet privately. It is also connected to the rest of the Tal Shi'ar network, so we can go over the data in detail. I'm glad you've seen the light. You're joining the right side. Captain, before we leave Jarzana, we should consult Commander Talmera. She might have more information about the Azha system. Okay, talk to Commander Tamara about the Azha system. Do you know anything about the Azha system? It's remote and has little strategic value. If you're planning some shore leave after this is over, I'd suggest going to Ryza instead. So, the Azha system. I can tell you you're probably flying into a trap. The Tal Shiar invest a great deal of time and effort to spin a web of lies. They don't look favorably on people who try to expose them for what they are. If you're going to go, at least take some backup. Okay, can you contact the KDF and organize that for me? That won't be too difficult. You've made a lot of friends. Send out a subspace burst if you need some assistance in the Azha system. They'll be waiting for your signal. If you run into any roadblocks, talk to Jadon. He's proven himself to be a worthy, uh, worthwhile ally. Alright, meet Charva in the Azha system in the Beta Quadrant. So it's cool that we can call upon the KDF if we need help. That is our ally in this one. A lot of reading there. I know it gets tedious. Uh, sometimes I, I hate overreading to a lot of dialogue in this particular mission here. A lot of dialogue. It is good. It is part of the storyline though, so it's good to get through it and figure out what's going on. We've got the Azha system down here, not too far from where we are. So we learned a lot. Basically, Charva's feeding us a story that she has got, but all the facts and details are wrong, or a lot of them were manufactured. And uh, we corrected it, corroborated it, and uh, now we're going to confront her about it. Obviously, the Tal Shiar is feeding her this false information. It's so obvious. But I guess she it's not obvious to her, which is odd because she's in the Tal Shiar and she should know that they are devious in that way. We'll see what happens here. Almost there. Our current top speed is 6.67 currently, and we are very close from level 18. And uh, actually, after doing this m mission, we may actually hit 19 as well. And then the next mission after that, we should be the next level already. So a couple more missions here, and we're going to be at the next level. Enter ground arena. No, continue RSVP. Captain, we're detecting another ship in the system. It's Charva's ship, the IRW Aethra. They're signaling to us that Charva has already beamed over to the listening post and that you and I should join her. But they say only us. We can't take a full away team. Of course not. All right, fly in a transporter range. Beam over. I hope we're able to make Charva see reason. She doesn't seem willing to accept that Tall Shi'ar is at the root of many of the problems of the Romulan people. It's not going to be easy to convince her. Maybe she'll listen. Let's find out. Hey, there you are. I'll do what I can to help you. I'm so glad to hear that you're considering my offer. 
They, uh, they offer safety and stability to all Rymanans. You won't regret your decision. Tobin and I would like to work more closely with you, but first, I need to go over some of this data with you. I can't blame you for wanting to do your due diligence, seeing as you're about to join our ranks. I don't think the Talshiar would mind if we took a look at some of the intelligence files used to generate the reports I gave you. Just don't tell any of my superiors that we did this. You don't have clearance yet. Of course not. Um, okay. Do I have to go over each one of these with her again? Because I did all that and I don't want to do it all over again. This can't be right. What can't be right? It appears as if some of the information that was included in the report I gave you doesn't line up with what's here. Several of the facts have been changed either, either here or in the report, and the results skew any conclusions that could be drawn. We should check another file. Well, duh. I could have told you that. Why didn't you check on this before sending us the information? Uh... But I thought, what's wrong? These recordings don't line up with the report either. What's going on here? Who could have tampered with this evidence? We still have one more file to check. Has this file been tampered with? What do you mean? This is the same story as the others. This evidence doesn't match the report I shared with you. You knew about this, didn't you? That's why you had me look at these files. Did you alter this data to make me look bad? Are you trying to sabotage my career with the Tal Shiar? I promise you, I didn't change anything. Were you expecting someone else to join us? No. Who, who joined us? Oh, it's the Tal Shiar. Hello, newcomers. <laughs> and they instantly draw weapons. Confront the Tal Shiar. We were sent here by Commander Maris to take you into custody. Omega, you are accused of undermining the Romulan Empire and crimes unbefitting of a Romulan. Tovan Kev, you are accused of aiding a known fugitive and conspiring against the Tal Shiar. Charva, you are relieved of command of your ship pending the outcome of a court martial. If you're lucky, that's all that will happen to you for betraying the Tal Shiar. I'm not going anywhere with you. Take one of these. That's what I thought. Beam to ship. We need to get out of here and return to our ship before the Tall Shiar send any more troops down here. Charva, you should come with us. You won't be safe with the Tall Shiar. So let's go. Guess it's time for some space battle. I love a good fight. Space fight. Come on, game. Get with the program. All right. Uh, I've been informed by the Tal Shiar superiors that you and Charva are now to be considered enemies of the state. My orders are to apprehend you alive if possible, but dead will work as well. Surrender, and I'll be merciful to your crew. Resist, and let their deaths be on your head. You'll need more than just one ship to take me down. Haha, <laughs> I like that threat. And then they send in more than one ship. Lots of, lots of more than one ships. Holy crap, ships. If you insist, how about a fleet of Tal Shiar warships? Will that convince you to surrender? Think of your crew, Centurion. Spare them the pain and suffering this meaningless gesture will cause. You didn't think I'd show up here alone, did you? Captain, our friends from the Empire have checked in. They'll decloak at your signal. Send the burst. Yes, the Klingons! Now it's a fight. All right. 
Alright, let's do... Oh, holy crap, that's a lot of ships. Wow, we leveled up from that. Subcommander Nadell is commanding the RRW Dehu. She has requested we transport Charvo aboard so she can be taken to the proper authorities. Now that was a heck of a good space fight right there. That brought me great pleasure and fun. I loved that. That was that was a good battle right there. I don't know where I'm supposed to be flying toward the other ship, but I'm... It's way over here. It told me to be in the circle, but I'm way over here. I guess I need to get closer to it. Which is not in the circle. Welcome aboard. Is this the Tall Shara prisoner? Indeed. This way, please. I'll leave you to it. I'm sorry it's come to this, Charva. I hope you can see how that the Tal Shiar isn't what you thought they no. were. No. They're doing what they can for our people. I was the one who failed to live up to their expectations. No, they... And you were the one who steered me wrong. Just like no, to no, 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 no. You are mistaken. I'm sorry you feel that way. It's time to go, Tovin. Captain, Charva was a close friend, and we couldn't even convince her of our cause. We need to find something substantial to expose the Tal Shiar. I'm afraid you might be right. Charva's alive, but I expect she's going to face a lot of questions from intelligence. But if we couldn't change her mind, what'll it take to convince the Romulan people? How do we gather the proof we need? For now, we've done all we can. I recommend we leave the system before any Tal Shiar reinforcements arrive. Sounds good. I love this Romulan storyline. It's very compelling. It really is. It's a good, good job on the Rhyme and the Storyline. It's too bad that it has to come to an end at a certain point and then all you play are the KDF missions. But up to that point, what a great storyline. And I wish it can continue. I wish it would, actually. You've done a commendable work exposing the duplicatious nature of the Tal Shiar, but there is still more work to be done in order to actually discover what they have been up to. It's a shame that Charva is resisting our efforts to turn her to our cause. Perhaps with enough time, she'll see the Tal Shiar for the traitors, the traitors to the Romulan people that they really are. In any event, you are pro you are pr proving to be a formidable addition to the fleet. I'm gonna get all these things. I'm actually getting. I don't even have a choice. I'm gonna get all these things anyway. <laughs> We're counting on you. Congratulations, Centurion. 
accolade complete. It's a fake! What a great episode of DS9. Time is short. What do you need? Alright, we're not going to do that just yet. Now we are 19, so one more mission and we will be level 20, which makes us a Romulan sub-commander. But uh, we got one more mission to do before we hit that, and then we'll get to get a new ship too. So this was uh, the last of allies. This was Tradecraft, so that finished allies for us. That accolade is complete. Uh, next we're going to start In Shadows, which is continuing of the Romulan storyline. And that's going to be a lot of fun. There's a lot of missions there, as you can see, related to that. So that's this is going to be a pretty fun um, series of missions coming up here. And we'll be doing most of that as Romulan's, Romulan sub-commander with a brand new ship. Except for the first mission. But uh, that will be in the next video. Let's see. Uh, I don't want to accept that yet. I have new orders for you. Let's, uh, we do have new duty offers, officers. I will take them for sure. Because I can use new duty officers. There we go. We've got a couple or a few there. And I am continuing to do marauding whenever I'm in a new system. I look to see if um, there's any marauding duty officers to duty officer missions to do, because I want to uh, max out the marauding section. Right now we're still rank zero in marauding, but we're halfway to rank one. And I definitely want to max out marauding all the way to rank four. That's basically the diplomat equivalent on the Federation side. And that'll give us some things there that are useful. Okay, everybody. Thank you for watching this episode and stay tuned for the next one.